Hi Gemini, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Gemini. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. Everything that you need to access is down below in the description box, which would be my website link, Instagram handle, all of that delightful stuff. I just post more crazy freaking things on Instagram. So there's that. You can jump over if you would like, but no pressure. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've been here and supported the channel. All right, so we've got Siren here. Where do I even begin with that? We have the storm, the storm passing. It's like getting close. Like it could be coming out of the thick of some process. It could have felt very emotionally heavy. Wow, I never looked at these cards before. Interesting. Um, do you see, I've never looked at this in this card before, but do you see those eyes there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a really interesting, there it is. It's a little bit more straight up like that. And then there's another eye right there. I literally never saw that before. Interesting. Um, there's something here about eyes being on you. It's like, but negative intentions. And this could, this could actually, it's like you're picking up on a lot energetically the negative way that people are viewing you. And I think personally, these are just, again, projections, like people that like don't see the issues with themselves these people could be like they're more focused on you rather than themselves and interestingly we have the siren eyes all around this person could be watching a lot are they the siren the siren I need to pull more cards because I, like, um, I need to stop saying that. A person that, were you guys in a connection with someone? Okay, a lot of fire energy. This might come up out of nowhere. But it's almost like this process. They're kind of fascinatingly interconnected. There could have been some fire that just came up within you and you've been taking action or that's something that's going to happen over this next week where you get back into balance or something becomes almost crystallized. This feels like crystallized pain. You know, when you um, take action and you do something to alter your situation in a positive way and then you actually see a shift energetically within you and then it gets expressed in your external reality i mentioned that in someone else's reading and it's coming up in yours this fire energy is coming in and it's like I love this card because it has a lot of sacred geometry to it, but it's reflective of you and the energetic state that you're moving into. So you're, you're like integrating here. Or like I said, if you'd been through a painful process, because this could have been very emotional, and maybe you've gone through something significant here, but now something is being put back together because you could have come across some kind of information like a Gemini does. Like you could have figured out how something was affecting you energetically. Now there's a shift coming into that. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Nice. If you have been discarded or someone like is purposefully scapegoating you or rejecting you, 
it is some kind of blessing. It's literally because that, like, that relationship is not... It's not like a match to your energy any longer. And you have the judgment in the upright. So that could be that there's some kind of new door that's going to open for you. Or you're going to be given some kind of like, maybe it's a new purpose that you move into. Or you've just opened a door for yourself. And now it's bringing some kind of change to this dynamic. Yeah. And then you've got a person here. The devil in reverse is a person that is losing their control over you. That's how they're coming across. There's a person that feels like they're losing control over you. And then we have um, Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Swords. Uh, there's a person here that could have been trying to take something from you. Or maybe taking your energy or taking your essence or... Nine of Cups. That's why. Because you have a huge, like, you accomplish something. Or you have a wish fulfillment. Or you, you're you good with yourself. Maybe there's a person here that has a problem with that. We have the Hanged Man in reverse. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, this is tripping me out the way this keeps coming out. What? No, these are... I hate this sometimes about readings. Okay, I'm going to switch this up a little bit and change this here. Oh, this is fascinating. Three of Pentacles and with the Emperor Reverse. There's that fire energy. There could be something connected here with Aries. And then we have in the final outcome, the chariot, the sun, page of swords, reverse, and the six of cups, reverse. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so there's a person here could be moving forward right now or traveling and to sun energy so that feels like positivity uh this person could be feeling successful like they're moving forward in a positive direction or that there was something weird about that the emperor in reverse do you know this kind of feels like gem um this could be a father type figure that you're thinking about they might be working really hard on something right now or they're trying to build something um the other side of this is that you could be wanting to like work your way out of some kind of situation or you're trying to build toward your independence at this time and there could be something here where you're interacting with someone that either owns a business like the emperor in reverse can be a person who owns a company or they're a ceo and you but it's almost like a situation that pops up where if you want to grow or change in a in a way that you need to almost like you would need to interact with someone who's a bit narcissistic i'm <laughs> just gonna say it shoot so i don't know there's something interesting going on there but it is a good thing because I do feel like a door has opened for you, uh, but things might shift in a way that you're not expecting or things will, your perception could be shifting in a way. Maybe you interacted with someone and there could be something where you're seeing things in a different light. could have been a temptation element to it 
or yeah Ace of Pentacles reverse. Um, so this is kind of what this feels like. The Ace of Pentacles could be, um, maybe it's a contract or signing something, but it's not a long-term commitment. Almost like it's a temporary thing. You could be exploring something right now, or if this was like a new job or a new home, it's temporary it probably won't and i would probably recommend that right now because the retrogrades are ramping up we're in the beginning phases we already are in pluto and saturn is about to go retrograde so it's like be cautious and think you know look into details of contracts you know ask questions be very direct about what things look like you know like fees or anything like that just ask a lot of questions it's not like a mercury retrograde like you can't sign anything it's just saying to hold out even though you might feel pressurized in another direction or you like you have to do something significant i wouldn't worry too much because other people that are connected to you like they'll be going through similar things even though you might feel pressure, there's like certain things that you might feel the pressure, you know? Um, but weird. This Emperor in reverse makes me really cautious. Also, the other side of this too, there's a person here that could have been trying to, um, maybe make it so you couldn't see that you have a wish fulfillment and that there's another person that you've been dealing with that they're like moving forward or they're they wanted to set themselves free or they're going toward the sun but page of swords and the six of cups reverse Obsession? Oh, that is obsession and stalking. Whoa, that's weird. I'm not really sure what to make of that. It's almost like there's a person here that's concerned about who you're going to be working with. They're, they're like concerned about this masculine. They've been watching constantly. Page of Swords reverse is like obsession, stalking. Um, they could have someone else that they're connected to to try to come in and gain more information. Or they want they like want to see where you're at because they and they might be trying to move forward with their life, but you um maybe you could have felt like something was taken from you. This emperor in reverse makes me really freaking cautious. Like it's some kind of masculine energy that's either exploitative or they're, they're like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like weird, but it's almost like you could be feeling like you have to deal with someone temporarily that you don't really want to that much, but this would help you to build like whatever you're trying to build toward your independence is like it's like going through this person to either get stronger or to create a better situation for yourself it's like an interesting thing like that let me yeah let me dive into the extended if you want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link see it over there but Gem, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.